Alright, I found this place online. Apparently, it's some kind of warehouse that was abandoned in the 80s. I had dug into it a little deeper and found that the owner, Dennis Johnson, had shut it down around the time of his son's death. Since then, people have been exploring it. Though they are saying that not everyone makes it out. That's probably just something to make people scared to come in here. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty glad I started filming these. Chris is gonna freak when he sees this recording. Oh my god, what's that smell? It's like if sewage and ice spices music had a baby. Ugh, that's awful. I'm honestly surprised most of these racks and pallets haven't been touched. Is that a basketball? Where the hell did that come from? Where'd it go? What the hell was that? It sounds like an engine. Whoa! whoa, whoa. God! Yeah! Oh! Whoa, that was glass! Oh, God! Oh, damn it, where's the camera? Ah! Uh, well, I... I didn't come in here to leave right away. God. I might as well push on. Where the hell did the forklift go? What is going on here? Maybe those rumors are right. Nothing too special in here, just a bunch of junk and old papers. Is that a cutout in the floor, or am I going crazy? There's only one way to find out. I'll be damned. This place just keeps getting weirder. Now there goes the camera. Ugh, God, the smell's gotten worse. That's disgusting. Doesn't seem to be much of anything down here. Oh, hey, there's a book. This thing is ancient. Resurrection. Why would Dennis need not only this in his basement, but this weird book? Speaking of weird, what has been going on? This, pl this place has been trying to get me to leave since I got in. Choose your words carefully. Who's there? Michael. You've stumbled into a tale shrouded in shadows, a narrative woven with grief and desperation. Life's symphony plays its somber notes, etching stories onto the very fabric of our souls. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you know my name? In my solitude here, I've had the luxury of knowing those who dare to venture into the unknown. You, Michael, are no exception. Your name echoes in the remnants of conversations carried by the wind. You've been watching me? Watching? No. Listening? Yes. You're not the first to set foot in these halls seeking answers to questions you might not fully comprehend. Michael, 
In the pursuit of defying fate, I sought to resurrect what was unjustly stolen from me. My son, Jake, grief, a relentless force, drove me to dance with the forbidden, to tamper with the delicate threats that bind life and death. Each night within these walls is a haunting reminder of the choices I've made. The air whispers of sorrow, and the silence echoes with the weight of my past. I thought I could rewrite the ending, reclaim what was lost. What was that thing upstairs? A failed experiment trying to bring him back. The darkness overcame it and it too seeks out blood. I call it the Mimic. It escaped its confines a few years ago. Now it's been roaming the desolate halls of the warehouse, seeking out the blood of the unknowing. What was that? One of them is attempting to break free. We don't have much time. These creatures, born from my areas, are manifestations of a darkness that seeks freedom. Listen, Michael. Not all shadows dwell in corners. Some linger within the choices we make. Be cautious, my friend. You need to leave. No, Michael! Leave, Michael! Never come back! <laughs>